Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to do a final fit of the GT35 as we've got the gaskets now. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, knew I had one laying around somewhere. Got the gasket, I'm gonna get the GT35 off uh, from the V-Band. Um, we're gonna paint that, because we haven't painted it yet, so I need to um, prep the surface for it. We'll paint it, and we'll get it on in this episode. Alrighty guys, to get this GT35 off, I have three, three nuts that I need to get off. The one there, the one on that V band, and the one on the V band underneath on the two inch. I don't think I need to paint this, that's just the stainless steel straight into the flange. Alrighty, guys, so I've got three bolts there. I did have to flatten off this flange a little bit, it was a little bit warped, so it took a little bit of time. I changed where the boost reference is coming from over to this side, so it will go off this way um, put a clamp on the water there tightened up this water I'm working on the drain now so just get some ideas on how I'm going to do the drain into the stock location that's down there and there if you can see it um, I do have this little piece that I had made up. That actually cost a bit to bend. It was strange. Anyways. Alright, so I've got the drain sorted. I'll show you once it's on. I just need to put this gasket in. Into here. And then we'll get it back on. There we have it boys, that little S there, a bit there, so it does go back a little bit and a little bit down the bottom does go forward a little bit, but it's nice and snug. This GT35 shouldn't be coming off at all until it needs to be replaced. Um, but the next thing is, the next thing that is coming off is the exhaust. I get the three inch V band to do the mid pipe, and um, we'll also do the O2 bungs. So I'm gonna hook up the water, I'm gonna hook up the water on the other side, I'm gonna hook up the oil feed, which is just down here. And I need to tighten up that mount. That's down there. So I'll tighten up the bolt, the nut up here first. It's not even on there. And then tighten it up down there so there's no wobble at all. It's pretty solid after the up pipe and the exhaust go on anyway. But actually, what I need to do is actually test it. Just um, the steering. The wheels aren't far enough off the ground to actually test it. But it comes very close. So, yeah. Alrighty. I forgot the light. Okay, guys, so I've done the water, and you can see down there there's a T which goes down to here. So, I've actually put a clamp on that as well. So, on this other side. I have the AN fitting now, so 
I can do the other side that goes back into the block. There it is. Alrighty guys, so water is supplied to both turbos now. We have oil feed on both turbos. We have the oil drain on the GT35. The oil drain on TD5. Mm, just working out the scavenger pump and waiting on some hose as well. But, um, it's just the mounting. Just the mounting for the scavenger pump. Which I'll do tonight as well, but I won't show that. Um, it shows that you guys really aren't interested in the scavenger pump side of it, more the twin turbo part of it. So I'm going to wrap this episode up. Just to recap, GT35 is in and staying. The only thing that will be coming off is intercooler pipe here to fab that up and to finish fabbing the um, the dump pipe there. So to put the, the two O2 bungs in and the V-band clamp to join it to the mid part. If you like this episode guys, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next episode. Bye.